Hello again and cooking time everybody. Everybody, Quest chips and Quest protein powders are now available in the UK. So get online, snap them up while you can because they're hard to come by, I guarantee it. We're going to be using Quest all-purpose protein mix and we're going to make Quest protein pizza which is a recipe which I'm going to be making today is on their website. I'll put a link in the description below so check it out. Gonna make a dough from scratch using cauliflower florets, which we're gonna roast in the oven, high temperature, 240, 250 degrees centigrade for about 12 minutes. Once we got that, we're gonna take the cauliflower florets, chuck them in the blender together with some egg white and some Quest protein chips. Salt and vinegar this time for the protein chips because sea salt, which I really wanted, is currently not available so hopefully it won't make too much of a difference but we'll put it in a taste test you've seen me use it before egg whites all that goes in the blender we're gonna blitz that one up right now so once we've blitzed that all up we're gonna get a bowl with our dry ingredients and this is what goes in guys, step by step, really easy recipe, like making any other dough. Quest multi-purpose protein mix. As much as you need, I went four times for the recipe because I wanted two huge pizzas. Some garlic powder, which you've seen me use pretty much in every single recipe. The normal recipe, which is on Quest's website, will make you a standard small pizza I'd say roughly about six inches this made two pizzas roughly about ten inches some almond flour crushed almonds almond meal whatever you want to call it crushed almonds go in there and at the end a little bit of salt to taste followed by low fat grated cheese guys the lowest one you can find Fat content, I managed to get this one 6%, the best on the market. Put your wet mixture in, and you know what? It's time to get dirty, get your hands in there after you've given us a short spin with a spoon or a fork, and start kneading until you get a dough consistency like you would. Yes, guys, it, this is a pain to make. I know, I've been there, I've done it. It was hard the first time around. But again, where do you get a pastry dough for a pizza, which is pretty much 90% protein? So here we go, mixing it up. You can see it's getting firmer and firmer. If it does start sticking to your hands, dust your hands slightly with some of the protein powder. Once you've got it all mixed, put it. you might want to put it in the fridge to let it cool down and set onto a baking sheet, spray that with some non-stick cooking spray, start spreading it out into a pizza shape and put it in the oven again 230, 240 degrees for seven minutes. After seven minutes turn it upside down and put it in for three and that's the finished product what it looks like. And guys I don't know about you but that just looks like a stone baked pizza to me. Fantastic result there for my first attempt. Your favorite tomato sauce, I'm using my low fat dormio. And here we go with your toppings. I've put some mushrooms, some chicken booby, and some be good to yourself bacon, which pretty much is 90% protein. Put it all on, covered it with some more cheese again, and into the oven, literally. For a couple of minutes, just enough time to let the mushrooms, the bacon cook through, and the cheese melt. And there we go, guys. This pizza is pretty much all protein with a dash of carb, and it is absolutely delicious. Guys, try it out. Get your hands on that Quest protein powders. And I'll, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.